All right, traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. For those of you who are tuning in, of course, hit that thumbs up. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll talk about how we were able to make over $9,000 in just about three hours of trading today. It was quite an epic day. And of course, after two red days in a row, you know, today we came in and the aim was, hey, just try to make a little bit of something and walk away. But the market spoke and spoke very loudly. And we had a stock that went from one, as of right now, all the way to $30. I mean, this is quite incredible, quite the spectacle, an insane day. I didn't even trade this last, you know, 200% move. Insanity. Uh, ticker symbol H-O-L-O. -O. Just a really strong stock here today. So, you know, I found this stock on my Momo Pro scanner, right? This is the scanner that I use all the time. Momo of the Pro, WIMI moving up right now. And, you know, this morning I wasn't quite sure. We did have a few stocks. Uh, if I pull up the chat room here, let's see, alert section. So this is my watch list today, right? Uh, HOLO, GLT, and SMX. SMX and GLT, we did trade but not a whole ton. SMX, you know, only seven bucks. I think we were green 90 at most. This one did give a nice red to green and a move up. GLT, uh, green 108 here. I think we might have green, been green a little bit more, but this one was a V-shaped red to green and move up, but then faded out from there. So that brought us back to HOLO, which very early did attempt a red to green as well, you know, a bit of a v-shaped red to green here smaller scale compared to the other stock you know but the one minute candle making a new high and us pushing up into a new high of day i knew this thing had a good uh good potential over 70 but botched this entire move up all the way to 420 and after this pullback i'm like are you kidding me man there goes maybe the one good chance to get green today and i missed it and this light bulb is flickering i gotta get a new uh couple of new bulbs so as I'm trading SMX, I'm watching at this in the, in the other chart up above. And I'm like, man, this thing looks like it could give a red to green. But at the time, SMX was looking decent. So I opted to, to, you know, to keep paying attention there. And that was not the right move because as a result, I missed this entire move up right here going into the halt. And, and I can't lie, I was a little, you know, I was a little frustrated because I'm like, it literally would have came down to me paying attention and I could have caught this, you know, the bulk of this move here, potentially, at, at least I would have given myself a chance. So we get the resumption, we dip, we rip, it pulls back and then we start to flag in here and then we make the new high. So there are a couple of setups so far, the V-shaped red to green, the bear flag breakout, right? A uh, quick pullback in here and then an extension into the halt, the halt dip and rip. And now another bear flag and then the one minute candle making a new high for another breakout we also have a high of day breakout here over these two candles these are all the setups that i'm looking at and of course i'm also trading price action right when we get these quick dips in here trying to time the bottom being in at these levels like this and selling on the move back up as the one minute candle makes a new high and so you know we, from there we get a bigger pullback it flushes out to 467 we then get a low 55 and then it curls up nicely here, uh, but we weren't able to get a new high. So we ended up, you know, essentially double topping and then we started getting tighter into this wedge. And then right here is where we're looking for the wedge to tighten. This is great for those of you guys. This is all live on YouTube, right? This was great trading, great analysis as we went. This thing did a, a, a fabulous move. Um, you know, the one minute candle pulling back in areas like this, getting, giving us a nice quick flag, right? High of day breakout right here. It continues baby pullback here, rips up higher, dips, rips, bit of a three bar play, but falls breakout. And then we start to get another longer wedge, right? It's like we have this, uh, lower highs, but then we get the bottoming wick. So beautiful bottoming wick here. We did have the bottoming wicks here. 
And it's like, okay, we're seeing some support every time we come down. And then it would, you know, hold up and then surge up. With another wedge, rip. These were the patterns. I'm going to show you guys one live trading area from today. And then, uh, let's see here. So I'm just going to show one area. I'm not going to show everything just to be fair to the students. I have two or three. Okay, there we go. I think two videos from today. Let's see. I think perhaps the Hive Day extension. And of course, you know, your boy was trying to push some size, right? Your boy, relentless trader, your guy, your fearless leader. So right here, Hive Day is at 493 and we're pushing up and I'm in at 69 watching for the move. So I'm out and I'm watching here. We jump to 88 and I'm starting to think, hey, this thing wants to look at how fast that goes from 88 to 97 almost instantly. And we got some we got some sellers here, but can we rip right through five? This stock was moving, guys. I take the pullback trade right here, 77. Can we get that retest of, of, of five? So a quick couple of trades there, quick couple of cents. I want to see that break over five. I'm trying for that break over five. I'm back in at 82. There's 94. I want to see the rip right through the level. And it's going to keep trying, and I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to be very active in this area here because I don't want it to, to go without me. So I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm waiting. And I'm going to try again. So I'm back in at 87. And boom. What an insane move. All the way up to 540 into the halt level. And so as you guys know, I'm hyper scalping, right? Which means I'm buying and selling multiple times, hundreds of times really and truly throughout a day. On a day like today, I probably logged my most trades ever, maybe around like 400 orders or let's say 400 trades, which for me is is on the higher side, right? Most people are used to just buying a few times throughout the day and then selling later. Uh, but, you know, it was all pace. It was all business. And, you know, those were the kind of trades that I was taking. And, you know, I'm switching between 1,800 shares and 3K. And I got up to 3,500. I wasn't buying multiple times to go up to 7K. But there was a few areas where I could have potentially done that, that I will do for next time, you know, so shout out to the Discord and community. Um, so I got up over 10K like three different times. But, you know, I, I was looking to keep trading this thing because, you know, it, it got choppy. It got very choppy, right? Once we got, so I ended the live stream like right around 12. So right at noon, I ended the live stream. And then I started, you know, I was like, okay, I need to take a break because I felt exhausted. But throughout that, I missed this move up and then it pulls back and I'm a little skeptical and it starts to crawl back up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep watching then. And so I gave back some profits, but then, you know, it gives a huge rip. I make back some money again here, but then it sells all the way off. So it's a sweet breakout then to the depths okay we trend all the way back up we get back to these key highs right and what does it do sweet move up all the way back down and then it's like it kept doing this over and over got back up to these previous highs and i i got exhausted of you know because it was tricky it started to move a little weird we got all the way up to the new high again Big move, right back down, even bigger move down. Again, again, right? And so I gave up. I'm like, hey, throwing in, that's it. That is it. And I was green, like 10,200. It's just, just a little over the level. But I, I'm looking to keep going because it's it's like it's it continues to get bought up. Every time there's a big drop, it gets bought up. There's a big drop, it gets bought up until I'm like, okay, that's it. How many times you're going to keep dropping and not go? So, you know, I, I'm uh, after the live stream, I think I dropped from nine from like 9,900, 9,900 down to um, 8,900, back up to 10K. And then 
back down again and then up to 95 and 95 is or no nine i, I got back to 95 97 and then lost 700 in a big big on one of these one of these red candles like maybe this one and then i was like yo that's it man but i was here in this area here but my level two was not open because at that time like i need to like i need to x out to leave because i'm gonna keep watching and i saw all i saw was just green candles green candles i'm like i'm not logging in i'm not logging in because if i'm if i'm gonna trade this i would have needed to be in sync in rhythm in tune and i wasn't so i'd be doing myself a disservice to try and start trading let's say midway yeah there's the baby pullback but it's, it's not 13 there's so much risk you don't know if this is going to be the top so if i have my level two open and i was looking to trade the last couple of minutes 30 minutes or so for power hour i could have did well here but i wasn't prepared for this i wasn't expecting this and this thing went from 11 16 to 18 64 and just, this is almost like if it's pre-market or after hour trading just straight green candles big move it dips it gets halted up it opens up moves up a little bit dips and then it rips up here like 10 minutes later and after hours all the way to 30. it probably will get to like 50 tomorrow if, if i have to guess that because it seems like this is like a trend that'll happen every few months and then it'll burn and crash be careful of secondary offerings if there's any re registrations out be careful with swinging just be careful with risk in general we have to manage risk if you're someone who might have ended red today it's not the end of the world these stocks are difficult to trade um despite going up in in fact october last year i had a stock like this you know i i was like struggling so it's part of the deal right it is what it is you have to just take the necessary lessons uh watch over the film review study come back and be better for next time that's all it comes down to and so you know for those of you who are looking for the extra help right the extra hand check out merciless market right so that, that's the day trading course that i have that goes over the strategy that i trade here not only that you can gain access to myself marcelo and tim the mentors here in the community right marcelo who also made ten thousand today or close to ten thousand tim let's, let's pull up uh, i'll pull up the i'll pull up the discord in a sec to show you guys how the community did as a whole there will be people who have ended red because the stock is ultimately tricky right but our gold membership includes everything of course the zero to advance course itself here here are the, the, the uh, chapters right the curriculum you know it's beginner friendly to very advanced so even if you don't know a ton it picks up from zero and gets to advance now day trading is hard day trading is risky you know it's impossible for us to guarantee success because it's impossible to guarantee success in anything with life life is risky trading is risky but all we need to know is that there's a chance and there's an opportunity and so you know in the classes we upload our live trading so this video here from start to end will be up in fact it's already been uploaded that way the students can go back fast forward fast forward rewind see what they you know see all the key areas how i approached it and not only for myself but marcelo and tim all right so check it out you guys can still utilize coupon code dream for 50 percent off all right so let's check out the chat room here let's check out the chat room let's see how the team did today let's go down here to profit loss and we have quite a few to look at People posting since early. So yesterday, you know, again, we had back-to-back -back red days. Coming in today, the aim was just, hey, let's try and get some sort of green. Record day here, 478. Way to go. Uh, Zo Zoza, Zoza, right? Busy, way to go. Right, the orange names are the students. A lot of decent gains here. Dan Shark. So, you know, we had a lot of people, and remember, some people are using smaller size. Some people will be using the simulator. We do ask uh, for everyone to be transparent, right? There's no shame in, in, in where you are in your journey, right? Jason, so some people are using small size, and this is great to see, right? Because you're proving concept. You're making sure you're connecting with the trades and so forth. 
Danny P, 1K day. I mean, you know, nicely done. Mike, 75 bucks. Green, uh, Green Dream, you know, Cactus. So a lot of the students doing well today. And again, guys, there's gonna be there's gonna be some red trades, right? SF, way to go. Ken, nicely done. Throwing bullets. Jeez. All these crazy names you guys got. 830. Way to go. Paper. And so again, you know, the people are being transparent if they're in the simulator, which I love. Because, you know, as as the fearless leader here, you guys know I used the simulator for years be in the beginning of my journey, right? So we have nothing to hide. And it's really good practice, you know, proven concept with the small size with the sim. It's the way to go. Spartan with just 50 shares to 100 shares, man. This is, that's, that's some solid trading there. That's some solid trading as well. So way to go, guys. Big Steve, how did you do today? Big Steve, can you post your PL after this live stream? Because our, our, our recap should have been a live stream, right? So Marcelo, right? Uh, Daddy added another 1k or, or 200 marcelo the other mentor here 8k on the day and 9200 on holo way to go brother amit tim 8700 triad 600 man just you know mr man in the sim today right paper trading in the sim 8k very solid day and great consistency so i'm looking forward to mr man in the real account and, you know translating right you know it doesn't have to be huge days like this but even if he starts off a little smaller and it's killing it that's all that's gonna matter right that consistency right so jared so here we are have a, a bigger red pnl here today uh the only one red you know jared you're not the only one who might have ended red on this one got smoke on a couple of the of the exhaustion moves so um you know when it comes to buying the extended moves up we got to be careful because we did see in some areas that uh we had some bigger drops right if you look at the three minute chart right here if we're too aggressive too high on the on these candles we could have gotten caught and it only takes one or two of these or, or two or three and just like that a good day can be ruined or a flat day can go red so jared when it comes to reviewing you know look at those entries that you were taking higher up and seeing you know see where you can avoid the trades right if we're too high so you know look at my archive look at marcelo's archive and see how we're approaching those areas once we get the acceleration right are we backing off after a certain point and that's the key backing off and then waiting waiting for the pullback again letting the stock base out and then continuing all right so jared a uh, bigger loss there but we look forward to you bouncing back and I love the transparency. SF added some more there. BMAC, 1400, somewhere there. Somewhere close. Danny adding, Danny P adding some more and losing some, adding back some, finishing above 12. 301. Zoza, 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 Zoza. Dynamo. Dynamo has been doing well. Dynamo is one of those traders in here. Quiet trader that's been doing his thing. Way to go. Way to go. Twin. 1300. Way to go. Or no, no, no. Wait, wait. Yeah. Realized and unrealized. No, no. Unrealized, there's another 4K. And at 1589 out of 7. So Twin looks like she was trading the last couple of minutes of the, towards the close. Way to go. Beam saying, I'm tired. And about 6.5 or 6.8 maybe somewhere there. Way to go. Crispy trades. I'm surprised Crispy didn't didn't do like 20,000 today. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's like Crispy is such a great trader that, you know, when Crispy, and, and you, I'll, I'll put quotations here, when you say only green 8K, we'd expected him to do more. Uh, but of course, it just goes to show you how much of a beast he is, right? But 8K, I, you know, nobody's going to complain about making 8,000 in a day. Save MX trading 15,000. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go, Breda. Way to go. Jeffy, one of the other moderate um, admins. So, this is actually my brother. For those of you who don't know, I have a brother that trades. He had his best day ever here today. So, I convinced him into posting his PL because he's one of those people 
doesn't like to post and he's had a you know he's had a, a, a rough career right so you know being able to, to this year to get himself green and being able to push forward you know you guys will see more of him he will be in our team house in, in the future you know he's gonna fit right in he's doing his thing right now you know great start of january great start of february his biggest green day ever right uh he had a good end of the year last year and he's hitting his stride man he's hitting his stride he has he has everything he needs to be great he has all the potential necessary and i think he will be an even better trader than i am so uh 8900 for him so we're pretty close in green day here today which is which is solid danny uh 4.5 way to go man solid i mean just you know not everybody's gonna post i'm, I'm guessing there are gonna be people who might be red who haven't posted um but you know again it comes down to studying up reviewing revising coming back stronger coming back stronger and it doesn't need to be by tomorrow but you know over the weeks months over the year you know we get another stock like this six months from now how are you going to be able to perform are you doing your due diligence are you doing everything necessary to improve to ensure success that's what it comes down to so guys again check out the classes hey if you're already doing all right and you want to just be a part of the community check out the community right we have over our six sixty six hundred members now in the discord uh you can become a premium member today right go to uh server shop and you can there's two options to join you can either become an elite member and have full access to the day trading chats uh let's say the trading floor of course excluding the mmu chats or you can become a participant this is where you can join via a read only mode if you're only interested in seeing the call outs seeing the activities in a chat but if you want to type you want to post your charts you want to post your pnls be fully immersed and engaged join the audio channels because this is where we hang out and talk and trade together feel free right this is where i'll go live after the live stream you know in gen one gen two or crispy might go live share his day share a recap I, or any of the other guys for that matter guys feel free uh to join the community and let's keep pushing you know let's keep pushing for greatness it's all about making progress slowly over time so with that being said, hit that thumbs up on the way out. It's been Relentless Trader, your favorite YouTuber. And I am, of course, signing up. Bright and early again tomorrow at 9.15 a.m.